Doing research using library resources can be quite different from searching for information through an online search engine like Google. This can be frustrating for many students, but fortunately, there are a few strategies you can use to improve your library searches and find high quality resources for your assignments. One of these strategies is to use Boolean operators. When you do a search in a library database, you may have noticed the small drop down menu to the left of some of the search boxes. When you click on it, you'll see three words, and, or, and not. These three words are called Boolean operators, and they can be used to refine the results the database retrieves for you. By combining your keywords or phrases in different ways, Boolean operators broaden or narrow your search and change the results you receive. Let's look at an example to explain how these three words work during library research using animals and glasses. And is used to narrow your search results by requiring that both terms be present, giving you fewer results. For example, if we search for animals and glasses, we will only see results that include both of those terms, animals and glasses or is used to broaden or expand your search by requiring that either term be present, giving you more results. For example, if we search for animals or glasses, we'll receive results that include at least one of those terms. One way to remember how or helps your search is to remember that or is more, or that using or leads to more results. Not is used to exclude results from your list, and it can be very helpful, particularly if you're searching for large or broad topics like technology or education. You must be careful, however, where you add not. It always has to be your last search term because any search term after the not gets excluded from your search. Using our animals and glasses example, if we search for animals, not glasses, we'll only see results that include animals. If we search glasses, not animals, we'll only see the results that include glasses. We'll never see the animals and glasses in our not search results because these pictures contain both search terms. If you're searching a key phrase, not a key word, it can sometimes be helpful to phrase search by putting quotation marks around your search term. For example, if we search social media in the library's OneSearch feature without quotation marks, we get over 800,000 results. However, not all of these are about social media. Many will merely contain the word social or the word media somewhere in the resource. To limit our results to those only about social media, we can use quotation marks. When we enter this search into the library's OneSearch feature, we get around 500,000 results because the database has brought back only results that have the words social and media right next to or adjacent to each other. One final search strategy that can help you improve your research in the library's databases is using truncation by adding an asterisk to the root or stem of one of your keywords. Truncation will broaden your search by allowing for various word endings or spellings. For example, if we enter C-A-N-A-D asterisk into a library search, we will get results that include the words Canada, Canadian, and Canadians. Likewise, if we enter E-C-O-N-O-M asterisk into a library search, we will get results that include the word economy, economics, economical, and any other words that include that stem. Some other common examples are EDUC asterisk to find common words related to education and child asterisk when researching topics about children. The Douglas College Library has millions of resources for you to use for your Douglas College courses, many of which you can access online from your home. Please check out our videos and tutorials for more detailed instructions or contact a librarian for help.